We are uh, a little unusual, not only because we combine the disciplines of architecture and development, but we seek out projects that have a social and environmental mission. Hotel Marcel is the reinvention of the former Pirelli building, also known as the Armstrong Rubber Company building. It has a legendary past designed by Marcel Breuer in the late 60s. And uh, they occupied the building from 1969 until about 1988. Then when it was vacant, it became a symbol of decline and abandonment. And so we felt that it could um, fulfill its original mission to sort of be a symbol of progress and optimism. So we put together a plan to redevelop the, this building into a 165-room boutique hotel. We also sought to uh, have it set a new standard for sustainability in the hotel industry. So we set a goal of having it to be a lead platinum-rated project, also Passive House certified, and all-electric. My name's Ted Heisinger. The company name is Eastern Mechanical Services. I'm a founder and president. The company was started in 1985 with my dad and my brother. It uh, was primarily a plumbing company. And then in 2011, I added service and we added uh, HVAC sheet metal capabilities. And we've been doing complete mechanical ever since. We instill high standards of quality with our people. People need to know that when they're doing a quality installation, it's even if it's hidden, it has to be plumb true and per code, per specifications. We don't cheat on anything in terms of our installation work. We're very high in quality. We started working with Mitsubishi Electric when I bought our building, which we currently have, we renovated the building and I was gonna put in a typical hydro air system. And the equipment that was selected was City Multi for the air side. I started reading the literature and I read that the equipment was good for 100% efficient down to 13 degrees ambient temperature outside. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to upsize the equipment to get it to a zero degree day. And I was going to make myself the guinea pig and see if this product really was as good as it claimed to be. So that was in 2008. That equipment is still currently operating in my office and we've had minus 20 degree days and the equipment pumps out 85 degree air temperatures out of the diffusers. So it's been, it's been working very well. And so I was totally sold on it after the first years of operation. We've had engineers spec LG and other equip manufacturer equipment uh, for the heating and cooling. And reluctantly, we've had to install some of that equipment and it's not been very pleasant. Is there a better way we could, we could do this? And that better way to us is always VRF, um, it's a BG product. We, you know, talked to Bruce about it and he was excited, so we decided to put it in the building. For us, it was kind of Mitsubishi or nothing. So we selected Mitsubishi's Electric's VRF, Variable Refrigerant Flow Air Source Heat Pumps, for all the space conditioning, the heating and the cooling, together with energy recovery ventilators. Uh, we also were delighted to find that Mitsubishi had a commercial scale air source heat pump system for domestic hot water. And uh, we employed that for um, all the domestic hot water needs for the hotel rooms and our laundry and our kitchen. We have never once had anybody say, I ran out of hot water. And one of the reasons I know our owners were very excited about this system is, doesn't draw much energy from the building, right? And as we're trying to produce all of our own energy, every piece of equipment that comes in here is, is vetted by how much uh, electrical draw does it have at any given time. So again, that's a no news is good news mentality when it comes to hot water. And that is something where I can have 100 rooms leave on a Sunday and I know they were all showering in the same two hour period. And I'm running a busy breakfast service and I might even be having a banquet go on at the same time. 
And I, you know, we'll put a, we will strain the systems, no matter what system is in this building. And we've never run into that issue. This is the first commercial, I think, uh, H2O project in the country here. Um, we sold it before it was even UL listed. <laughs> Which is pretty remarkable, actually. In fact, we were biting our fingernails on that because we weren't sure if we are going to be able to get that equipment in time to install because of the UL listing that was holding it up. Our company in Mitsubishi, we've been kind of cutting edge on some things, actually. That really enabled us to be one of the first all-electric uh, hotel buildings uh, in, in the United States. And uh, we produce all the power on site with over a thousand solar panels, which we believe will qualify us to be a net zero building as well. My personal involvement with this project was to lay out all the ductwork, all the refrigerant piping, and coordinate that with the sprinkler of the plumbing, the electrical. And in a building such as this, this historic building, the, the first floor really was a challenge because Hilton wanted to keep their the nine foot ceilings in this area. And the steel beams are right above that ceiling. We ended up having to do 40 duct penetrations in the structural steel of this building. It took us three months to figure out where we could put the ductwork so it wouldn't destroy the structural integrity of the steel. So I spent a lot of time coordinating all the layout of this equipment. There's a lot of thought that went into how this building was built and how we sourced and spec the, the partners that came in here. And I think from when I look at the HVAC systems, they're not overly complicated, which is great, right? When sometimes things make things overly complicated and that tends to be what breaks. Um, they're pretty simple systems. I mean, there's, there's fundamentally how it all works is, is pretty easy. They're bulletproof. Again, we could spend more time focused on guest facing needs. It was an honor and a privilege to be able to restore this building because of its important legacy as a brutalist Bauhaus inspired building but also to remake it in a way that could set a new standard for sustainability for the hotel industry. There were a lot of challenges with getting equipment and whenever we needed a piece of equipment, we got it in the time that we needed it. So that was huge. It was just a great team effort. Very much looking forward to a, a robust future with Mitsubishi Electric, absolutely. <laughs>